Hey, this is Peter Graphics, and we're talking about product groups today. Now, many of you already know about product groups as they've, they've been in Photo Central for several years now, but we've now finally brought them down to the level of Photogize Kiosk. And um, I wanted to just show you how to con configure product groups so that you can use them on both Photogize Kiosk and, and Photo Central. So let's first take a look at our... Uh, our standard account with no product groups. So I'm going to go to Photo Central and say Shop, select photos from my gallery. Uh, I'm going to be making prints here of this album. And as you can see, I have a ton of print products. And so when I lay them out against the photos, well, I can only show four photos per page. And um, uh, there's just a lot of busy work here. And maybe it's too confusing for a lot of customers. And you know, the same thing with the kiosk. If I just load up the kiosk to make a print, um, like with Photo Central with the same account, you'll see that I have the same thing. I have you know four pages of products and it's kind of complicated. So what we want to do is create something called product groups, which allows us to um, kind of really orient or organize products in, in, in logical ways and present them in a more logical way to, the, to, your, to your customers. So this is the account we're talking about here and uh, I'm going to click on Account Properties and the Product product Groups tab. Now, there's a couple ways of doing it. One is with word matching, which you can look up in the manual, uh, the Photogize Lab manual, or what we're going to use is Product Selection, which gives you more granular um, product group um, control. So let's add some product groups. First one I'm going to add is um, something called I'm calling Express Prints. Now, I'm, I'm doing this because I want to offer a really simple way to just get your basic 4x5x by by and 8 by 10s right? Um, and I'm going to make that my default group, meaning that when you first launch Photo Central or Kiosk, you're going to get um, this group. And then I'm going to add some groups like Glossy. And for Glossy, I'm obviously going to select Glossy Products. I'm going to add Nat. Do the same thing. I'm going to add a, a poster group because I know at the bottom here I have a poster. I'm going to add a package group because I know I have some packages here that I made with Raster Plus and Package Plus. I'm lastly going to add a, um, oops, a panorama group that just has these three panoramas at the bottom. Okay, once I click OK, those uh, those attributes are going to be published. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to, I'm going to close my um, Safari and I'm going to relaunch Safari because I want the product, uh, uh, the, the business rules, and so forth, to be reloaded. Um, I'm once again, I'm going to say, let's make some prints with my gallery photos, and uh, I pick this album. And now you can see that the default group is Express Prints. It only has little, you know, three products here, which is kind of neat, and it cleanly fits on one page. I can change to say glossy, and I, I get a different kind of selection. So that's product groups in Photo Central. Let's let's launch the kiosk to see how the product groups look there. Okay. Now let's just click through to quickly place a print order. So now instead of that four pages of products, I now have these product group selectors here. And of course it defaults to express print, so it's really easy. And I can you know scroll through, and if there are more products, then there are slots. In this case, this is a, an SD kiosk, so um, there are two pages of glossy, but like match just one page and poster of one page, obviously. Um, so there you go. It's much cleaner, a much cleaner interface when you use product groups.